Hello everyone, this is the Gaming Pup here, and today we are playing Bioshock Infinite. It is July 4th, so I decided why not step into the Bioshock universe with the third game in the series, technically the first, because this takes place before the first two games. And why not? So there's tons of red, white, and blue in this game, so that's why I mainly picked it for today. But, also before I continue, I am gonna fix my volume. That should be, that should be about good. How are we good on levels? Denying. Hmm. But, actually, let me make sure everything is good. Yep, that's good, that's good, that's good. Art subtitles, yep. And play floating combat text. What is that? Control panel. Ah, okay. Alright, we are good. We are good. So let's get straight into it. Bioshock. Oh, I love this. I absolutely adore this series for what it is. Hope the sound is coming through. Lock ah, yes. Okay. My DLCs. Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. The mind of the subject will desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. Barriers to transdimensional travel are Lutes, 1889. 1912, the coast of Maine. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? Mm. The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One You're only looking around for a little bit. Knowing one could nope. fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. So it's been quite a while since I've played a Bioshock game. We've arrived. Especially this one. But uh a lighthouse, yep, that is very common with Bioshock games. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Uh, maybe, Booker, maybe. Okay, woo, god, my sensitivity. Okay, there we go. All right, woo. Sorry if it seems like really fast in terms of sensitivity, but I don't know. And there they go. Okay, so now we've been stranded at a lighthouse in the middle of nowhere off the coast of Maine though technically not in the middle of nowhere but we sort of are at the same time uh, before I go look at the door that's the run button all right I see a city in the distance search containers for useful items I always do coins in the cushion achievement unlocked Okay, our already our first achievement. Woo! Okay. I hope everyone is doing well today. I am doing splendidly. 
Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. I, I guess you're expecting me? DeWitt, bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. Okay, then. Interesting. So, we gotta bring a girl. Whoever that girl could be. Again, it's been quite a while since I've played one of these games. And this one, specifically. Of thy sin shall I wash thee. Oh, a reflection. Good luck with that, pal. No. <laughs> okay, then. We're not going to wash away our sins then, whatever those sins. From Sodom shall I lead. Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, well, I'd assume, considering, like, the music is on, someone is. Let's see, what's this? Be prepared. He's on his way. You must stop him. See. Hmm. United States of North America. We use a telephone? There you go. Fix. Make sure my mic, y'all can hear me. What do we got here? Columbia. To and from Columbia. Huh. Okay. So these are points like where... Alright. Let me just see. So we are... We are in... Portland, Maine. Yeah. Oh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Savannah, Georgia. All right. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked from what we're supposed to do. Woo, I'm just looking at everything. Uh, what do we got? Use the sink. Okay, we can turn that on. Uh, salt. Let's turn it off. We're not going to keep that on. Ooh. Well, somebody made a mess. Oh, yeah, definitely somebody made a mess. Look at the potatoes. Okay, then. To thine own land shall I take thee. Okay, oh. Bloody handprint. Hello. Oh, lovely. I see. Bust of George Washington. Shit. Don't disappoint us. Oh, boy. Okay. I don't know if that's a message for me or for the guy, for whoever this was. But if it's for me, I guess, then all right. But if it's for him, well, he's dead. <laughs> he's already dead. Ooh, oh, what? Search barrel. Oh, a pear. I mean, I think we're good on health, so we don't really need health. I'm guessing that's supposed to be... Yep, that's city over there. A city. Hmm. Anything, anything? Nope. Okay, we shall go. In New Eden soil shall I plant thee. Okay. And there's city over there. Get another view. Another city over there. I see. You go around? No, we can't. Okay. Now we're at the top of the lighthouse. Hmm. Here's the dock. Right, I'm just seeing if there's anything. Ah, yes, silver eagles. Okay, I don't see anything out in the distance. Now, let's get in here. Let's see, use the bell. One, two, three, two. What in the world is. Mm. 
very odd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Super odd. Guy is blaring at us. Oh. Here we go. Thank you for opening the door. And there goes the lighthouse. For the light. Hmm. All right. That's all. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. Yep. Yep. Before I do, I am gonna. Yep. Audio is good. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna. There we go. Let's just sit, let's just sit down. Let let's not stall for time here. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The binding are there as a safeguard. Oh, this can't be good. No, no, no! God damn it! Attention. Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. There goes your gun. Two. One. No. And here we go. Ascension. Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. Calm down, Booker. Fifteen thousand feet. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. It is Columbia. It's very beautiful. I'll say that much. For the time being, this is a Bioshock game. It's all gonna go wrong at some point. Father Comstock, our prophet. Floating mills in the sky instead of a city underwater. I love it. Written in the clouds. Why would he send his savior onto us if we will not raise a finger for our own salvation? And though we deserved not his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. I love the singing. Essentially, this is like the bathospheres from Bioshock 1 and 2. And the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. Yep. There we go, finally let us out. Find a way into the city. Okay. That's our objective, is it? Yep, that's our objective. Woo! We don't have an inventory because there is no inventory system in this game. Which is nice. We don't have to deal with a inventory system, thank God. Hmm. All right. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown and flame the mountains of man. Alrighty then. <laughs> Lots of religious stuff in this game. Let's see. Let's go over here first. Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Heaven, or, or at least close to what we'll see till Judgment Day. Okay, then. Let's keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. And in the womb shall grow the seed of the prophet. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, we got a bag over here. Yep, we can. Ooh, thank you for the money. That, I, that's nothing. The seed okay. of the prophet. <laughs> yep. Money. We are taking the money. We are a thief. That's what we are. Anything over here? Nope. Absolutely nothing. Okay. What do we got over here? What is this? It's in the gift. Money. More money. Okay, then. It's helpful to me. Gotta find the exit out of this place. Yeah, we will, Booker. Just wait. Just be patient. What's this? Pick up a voxophone. Here log. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Okay, before you continue with your audio, there we go. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? Mm, that's a thought process. Voxophones, love the, love the Sinner, April the 1st, 1893. Sorry if that looks small on my screen. It, it does look small for me, so I really can't do much about that. Anything? Nope, nothing else. All right. I'm assuming there's another doorway on the other... Yep. The Lamb, the future of our city. Ah, uh, yes, the child of Father Comstock and Lady Comstock. Yep. What do we got here? Money. More money. Thank you. Absolutely nothing in there. Let's see. What do we got over here? Nothing. Nope. Oh. Nothing else. Okay. I'm going to be doing tons of exploration in this game. So, sit back and relax. This And this video is going to be about an hour long, or at least I think it should be. Well, let's continue on with our journey. Uh, hello. Goodbye. Radium. Lave them. And then... Volumen? I think. And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if I'm just listening, so that's why I'm going slowly. And not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accept the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the Vox Populi, it would have been enough! Okay, well, then. The path of forgiveness is the only way to the city. Okay. Is it someone new? Someone from the sodden below? Well, let's Newly do it. Newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our our founders and our lord I just need passage into the city passage to the city yes brother the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism will you be cleansed brother it's either this or turn around and get back on that rocket class will get it over with come and be cleansed hallelujah 
Accept the baptism to enter the city. Come, let us cast the trickster out from you. Praise be the prophet. Praise the Lord. Come, let us wash the sodom from your soul. Fine. All right. Hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Oh, God. <laughs> Who's there? Where the hell are Who's we? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the debt! What do you want? We had a deal to it! Open this door right now! I told you! I'm not gonna do it! Go away! Mm -hmm. Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! You calm down. Okay, awards from Wounded Knee. Right. Oh gosh. Fine, we're coming. Can't open the door. All right. Fine, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. What's up? Oh my God! New York City. Uh. Priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. <laughs> okay, Father Jefferson, Father Franklin, Father Washington. To Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll so that Eden might have laws that set her above all other nations. And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders. And our prophet, Father Comstock. And, and recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father, Father Comstock. Comstock. So that we may follow in the prophet's path. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yep. All right. Interesting viewpoints of everything. Yep, and that's where we came from. I'm assuming. Okay, let's go then. Our prophet fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. I don't know how accurate that is, buddy. I, I really don't know how accurate that is. I need some health. Oh, dear. My health is low. All right. Uh, what is Columbia, if not another arc for another time? Hmm. He I guess. crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. If characters are in the game are going to talk, I'm going to listen to them because I'm, I'm curious. A rebel against ignorance and tyranny. Share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. Okay then. Ooh, a hummingbird. And a sword. And a scroll. And a key. key. Amen. Amen. Okay then. Oh. There's coins in the water, so I'm gonna pick them up. I'm just going in the water. Ooh. Okay. There's no chance, no luck, only providence. And that you see its divine hand at work. You discern the transmundane. Your inspiration and imagination transcend mere science and open our eyes to the mystery. Father Franklin, hear my prayer. Alrighty then. Just because uh, the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. Still got a girl to find. That is very true, Booker. 
That is very true. What? Oh, bananas. Okay. Yep, again, the city of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flames the mountain of man. Alright, let's just move on. Whoa. Oh, I love it, but also, for one. There we go. Just look how beautiful it is. I love it. All pristine and beautiful. Whereas the first two Bioshock games are different. <laughs> I know, Mr. Rossignol. I've never Just had an oyster. <laughs> Mr. Rossignol, you are terrible. Okay, then. Music, again, you are... Hello. Morning. Good to see you. Morning. Is this free or? Doesn't look like it. One, one dollar popcorn. Well, I'm gonna eat it and take, take it. Two dollars and one dollar. Yes. Uh. <laughs> I need, I need help. For the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. Okay then. What do you have to say? Or you were speaking. Oh, that statue. I, I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute, you know, divinity. Hmm? Okay then, to each their own. Like does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference, only duty. I I don't know. Um, all of Columbia celebrates. Celebrates what? What's being? There. That's enough of that kind of talk. Sometimes I don't know if I'm raising a duke or a dimwit. Okay. It's not very nice to say to your son, if that is your son. Not very nice at all. Ooh, peanuts and coins. Anything else on the steps? Absolutely not. Let's go to the, so uh, the store over here. See what, what are they talking right, about? I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Hmm. They were talking about Comstock. I'm not sure he's all of those things, sir. I am not so sure about that. We got over here a bike. All right. Nothing else I see, but let's go in the store. Let's go in here. Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired. That, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man. Don't tell me about details. Just get it done. Mm-hmm. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. Alrighty then. Ooh. Oh, another box phone. Let's see. Zachary Hale Comstock. Again, the Archangel showed a vision. A city. Lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? Alrighty then. So that one was undeserving. 
September the 9th, 1893. Alrighty then. Father Comstock's Gift of Prophecy. Alright, what is this? Our gifts of Prophecy. In the midst of, a, of the darkest storm. The great prophet foresees bright sunshine, and lo, it appears. What will the great prophet reveal next? That... Okay, something like that does not make him a prophet. I'm just gonna point that one out. Like, just because it's raining, it the sun's always... Okay, oh, that's all right. I'm not gonna even argue about that. Oh dear. Okay, let's let's continue. What do we got? Daily docking schedule. Okay, well, not important to me. The birds, please go away. Fox popular this, fox popular that. Now, what does fox popular even mean, for heaven's sake? Uh, it's Latin. It means Latin. <laughs> He was trying to tell you exactly what it was, and you decided to interrupt. You know, Alrighty. I thought I detected a hint of an accent from our waiter. Hmm. Is there something wrong with that, madam? Is there something wrong with your waiter or whoever having an accent? Yes. Pilgrim's welcome. Curtsy. Ask about our founder's special. This restaurant probably is our oh, good. Groceries and meats. Farm fresh. Comstock approved. Of course it's Comstock approved. Seems like everything here is. Anything over here? Nope. Nothing. Also, if you're eating here, the restaurant's closed. I don't know how you're eating there. To be quite honest. Good day, citizen. You're looking fit. Thank you. Kids playing in the water. I got over here. Anything? Nope. Absolutely nothing. I've said I've said that three times in this video already. Hello. Ooh. Columbia's finest ice. Distilled water ice. And a Easter. Uh, Peyton Lane, the Eastern Sons. The angel Columbia did present herself to Father Comstock and show him a vision of the future. And so our prophet led the people away from the Sodom below, up, up into the city, where they created an even more perfect union. But it was the miracle child. All right, well, um, got interrupted with what I was originally doing. Let's see what we've got here. App nothing. Columbia Raffle and Fair. This way. Okay, so that's where we're going. Let's see. Hello. Y'all doing anything? No, absolutely not. What are you selling? Carrots, tomatoes, melon. Uh, potatoes, canary melon, bell peppers, onions, zucchini. All right, tons of things. Nice. Let's see, anyone want, anyone speaking? No. What if I pushed him off? He would just fall back down to earth. <laughs> so dangerous. Hello. Okay, you are unamused. All right, let's go this way then. Let's go where we need Columbia, to go. Raffle and fair. Huh. Yep. Columbia Raffle and Fair. Picking the right event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. Can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. That's why we're going to the raffle. I have a good feeling this year. Alright. Anything over here? Ooh. Ooh, I see stuff. More money. And, um, a drink. Patriot's Pride Confectionery. 
Uh, nothing in the barrel. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. You're talking badly about Comstock here. I, I feel like you're not allowed to do that. Or are you talking badly about the Founders? If you're doing that, I feel like you're still not allowed to do that. <laughs> the grocery store. Warm temperatures and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. Alright. Health is full. We'll eat your cake. Nobody's in the store, so... I mean, I feel like I can take anything I want, to be quite honest. More money, which will be helpful. Uh, anything over here? No. Wow, nothing. You really need more lights in here, to be quite honest. Nothing. But we'll take the money out of the, um, there. That's a bad thing, but... Whatever. The false shepherd seeks only to lead our lamb astray. Propaganda. Okay. Beware the false shepherds. All right. Who is the false shepherd? Is it him? Is it him? Or him? Is it you? <laughs> Only our vigilance protects the lamb from the false shepherd. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Hey! Ah, you must be the owner of that store over there. Aren't you wearing your hat on right? Hat looks a little weird on you. I'm just gonna be honest about that. Okay, let's go here. Oh, a garden store. Nice. And they're leaving. Would you care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the girls' patriotic league. Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. I probably would look dashing and okay, someone left their purse with nothing in it. Righty then. Hello, madam. Nothing. Yeah. Let's see, trash. Also, why why is money in the trash? Why would anyone throw money away? That I don't understand, but this is a game. Ooh, toolbox. Again, nothing in it. Step in. Sorry, I'm stepping in the flowers. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, anything? Nope. Anything on the table? Ah, I see something. I see things. Ah. Wallet. All right. Wait, is that what I saw on the... Oh, that's what I saw on the chair. A wallet, I think. Let's pick up the voxophone. What voxophone is this? Every man all at once. March the 29th, 1911. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out. Born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. Hmm. Okay. Again, another interesting outlook. Oh. Okay, I missed something. Albert Fink presents God Only Knows, Today Only, Columbia's Gayest Quartet. <laughs> the music of tomorrow today. Gayest, most likely mean and happy. Or at least, I think. I, I don't know. 
Uh, so there was music going on and they were dancing to it and I missed it. Oh well. That happens. Let's see. Back in five minutes. Okay then. What do we got over here? Coffee, peanuts, and sardines. And nothing in the provisions. Alright. Anything over here? turn into some faint and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Vox Populi, now do I? <laughs> I Married a Vox Populi. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, she won. Uh, nothing. Ooh, apples, thank you. Good to restore my health, pardon me. I mean, this is a beautiful city. I love how it all looks and whatnot. Oh. I saw something. Ah, that's a giant wallet. Jesus. Wow, okay. <laughs> that was really big. A little bit ridiculously big, if you ask me. You're right, right? Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutess. What the... Go to Monument Island and find the girl. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? You can use the telescope. We got over here. Oh, what are you two doing? Oh, all right. Oh, a coin. Let's see. Let's look through. Oh. Hello. Do you... Okay. Interesting. That is interesting. And they're not there. Wait a minute. Are they there again? No, they're not. Hmm. Strange. Very strange, if you ask me. Okay, what do we got here? The tower protects the lamb Might from the false shepherd. You, Hello. Hello. Before we go over there, let's go down here. They were standing right here, and now they're gone. Strange. Oh! You're able to fall off? Wow, that is... That's really dangerous. I should not be allowed to do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. that's something... She's some kind of beauty. You know, that's where all the immigrants used to pass through. Wish they still allowed average Janes and Joes to enter. You know, you gotta be somebody now. All right. Hello. I'm just smoking. All right. Hello there, friend. Hello. Can't take your popcorn? Well, I won't, anyway. Oh! I'm able to do that. I Why is... Why am I allowed to do that? Why isn't there a... Invisible wall? You wanna let me through here, pal? Uh, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to kingdom come. Again, roadblock. Better find another way around. Hmm. Okay, so we can't go that way. We have to go up. All right. All righty then. Is there anything I might have missed over here by chance? I doubt it. Let's go. 
I saw these, I just didn't look at them. Keep saying that. Should we go in? We're having their own conversation. Okay, Buck and Bronco, Shock, Shock Jockey, and then Murder of Crows. Proving detergent against hooligans. I'm just gonna leave them. If I told you Devil's man, Kiss, the light the way. Straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Hmm. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know These vigors are essentially you know the, um... Kind. Oh, what are they called in the first and second game? They're essentially the equivalent of those. The envy of all his peers. Alright, what is this one about? Looks like Jimmy's friends are jealous. Oh, because Jimmy's dad gave him a pack of minor victory. Minor victory, the only brand designed especially for kids. What? Sightseer. Oh. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? Kids smoke it. That is wrong man, in so many ways. Young okay. sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just Plasmas. That's what... All right. Uh, they are, they are the equivalent of plasmas. Do you have what it takes? Whether you need Damn, okay, let me stop playing. I'm gonna restart that. I I'm gonna restart. Yep. Devil number two. Woo, he's God damn, wrong road. person. Oh, I couldn't do anything about that. And that's three. We have a winner. Here you go, friend. And remember, if you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer. All righty then. Got a game over there, and looks like we got here another one over here. I got just secure. Grab a shotgun and go to work. You, oh, you we do. Okay. Good man. Now take aim and blast those evil box out of the sky. Hit it Twenty up points. Blast them out of the sky. Oh, this fella knows his stuff. Come on. Gosh darn it. Damn it. Can I play again? Can I play again and get the 20 points? Because I want all the money that I can get. I want all the money that I can easily get. Six. More for the record. Box left when you're Eleven. More for the record. More for the record. Sixteen. 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Thank you. Alrighty then, we did it. Woo! That took me a little bit. Huh. Robotic horses, eh? The automatic stallion, the horse of the future, today! God. Oh, they're smoking, of course they are. Oh, just that whole... Hmm. Wait, can we play this? Are we able to... We are! Ooh! Ooh, yes please! Nothing for that? Alright, hello. Oh, you look really unhappy with what you're doing. All right. Hello. Ah, uh, you're just showing how the skylines work. Oh. oh. Vinny, Vinny, Vigor. Okay. Ten points and twenty points. That one went up for a moment, but went down immediately. Really, I could go. I could go again for ten points. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get that other money. I'm. I'm going again for. Okay, I'm letting it go. Because I've already gotten 13, so I've gotten enough. I just want the other money. That's all I want. Thank you. Is that cigarettes? That's cigarettes. Right. Thank you. Let's see. What do we got here? Bucking Bronco, 375, and I don't have enough for that. Damn. Hello. Boxophones, boxophones. Hear your voice from the past in the present. Right. Record your own boxophone. Rejoice upon hearing the sound of your own voice, the finest quality of sound reproduction. Sing the praises of Columbia to be heard again and again. All right. Say something, Sonny. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Exactly that! A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. <laughs> hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander Hot Dogs, Columbia's finest, worth every cent. Red Hot Hot Dogs, the advances in science and the wonder we've seen in our lifetime. Soon enough, Fink and Lucas will be sending folks to the moon. Wouldn't that be something? Moon people. <laughs> oh boy, going to the moon. Oh, uh, played a played a game once where I did that. I usually wait till Fink works out the kinks with them. It's safer that. Uh, waiting to use the vigor before all the kinks. Waiting for 
all the kinks to be sorted. Alright. This is the band playing. Vigors dispense more aggressive aid, like letting you breathe fire, that sort of nonsense. <laughs> then why would I want to do that? There's tons of people talking all at once. This is annoying. The handyman. Hmm. Like it? He looks so sad. Sad? I mean, that's strong. What's there to be sad about? It does look sad. To be quite, it doesn't like the photography. That much I know. The salt machine. All right. Four flavors. That many? What's wrong with good old vanilla? Mm. And what's wrong with four flavors? It's playing over here. Oh! Sailor, what port do you call home? Any port in a storm? You know what I mean? Okay. Anything else over here by chance? I don't see anything. Okay. Uh, let's continue yeah, moving on. Dear friend, have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Right. Sorry, pal. The raffle is all sold out. Entrance is reserved for dignitaries and very important personages alone. I'm guessing that don't mean me. With a beloved hmm. spouse. Possession. Any stallion can be tamed. From the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. Look at possession. You any machine to your will. Hmm. That's gonna come in handy. I'll try it. I'll try it. Just a whisper. They're all ears. <laughs> oh, that was odd. Okay, then. Press to turn machines into allies. With possession equipped, press LT to make a machine friendly to you. Who was that? Right. LT. Before I go, I want to try something. There we go. No sale. Okay, well. I got money. I got some money, so let's free up. Let's um, take our salts back. There we go. Okay, are there anything, other things around here that we could uh, use possession on? A chance? Are there other things that we can use it on? I doubt it. I don't think so. Okay. How would I try... Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. I, I thought maybe I could. I guess not. Let's just continue with on all this. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Tails. <laughs> Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Oh my god. Gotten tons of heads. 
No tails. Hmm. I've seen you two before. Okay. Interesting. They appeared and disappeared. Hmm. Money, thank you. Dollar bill. Oh. Well. I appreciate a lady who appreciates value. I recognize that voice. All right. Well, I mean, we'll find other things that will replenish our salt, so we're not going to buy anything. Look at that one. He looks lost. <laughs> he looks just fine to me. Mary, <laughs> you are a living, walking scandal. <laughs> Alrighty, then. I hear the Father Franklin machines will be taking in new stock soon. Good night. Okay then. Let's see, sing praise to the songbird for he is the protector of the lamb. Hmm. My role model? My lady Comstock, of course. The, the prophet, prophet bless her and keep her. Keep her. Oh, that poor woman. The things she suffered. Suffering don't make you holy. Well, it certainly doesn't hurt. Y'all done talking? <laughs> All right, nothing. These stores are closed. Nothing there. This city is... I'm gonna always think the city is beautiful in this game, regardless of whatever happens. I believe all the prophets teach it. But some people think that Lady Comstock not only designed the Columbian flag, but sold every single one of them in existence. I mean, really. You know, Thomas, I don't make light of your beliefs. I would appreciate it if you did not make light of mine. And in front of our friends. Okay. So, Lady Comstock created all the flags here in Columbia. Ah, the whole division got them. Whoa. We're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system. We gotta have the best. Uh -huh. They got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox skull. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Whoa. What was that? That was really strange. Oh, they're playing. Our Lutess gave Columbia her wings. Hmm. Another voxophone. Okay. Oh. Oh, what is this? Okay. Oh. Vigors, okay, I see. For I am lonely too, August the first, nineteen oh two. Constance Madam Field. Lutes, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her. As we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. Hmm. All right. I definitely love the story in a lot of games, so that's why I'm paying attention. What the? F you shall know the false shepherd by his mark. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I don't know how nobody has noticed until now. Stop 
Jeremiah Fink wants you to attend the July 6th raffle. Well, I am recording this the day before July the 4th, but this video is going up tomorrow for July 4th. I've been singing for quite a while. <laughs> What do we got? Any other salts by chance or anything to replenish our salts? More money. Helpful. Can't get into that. Anything in here? Oh, Silver Eagle. It's alright. Hello. Oh. Okay. You wouldn't want to miss out. Oh, I'm not going to miss out. Trust me, I am not missing out. I'm going. I'm just exploring around a bit. Doesn't hurt. More salt. And more salt. There we go. Our salts are being replenished. Anything in here? Okay. There's machine over there. Let's see. Oh dear. Oh dear lord. I almost fell off again. That would not have been good. But I would have respawned, so it's fine. We'll see about that. I'm feeling lucky. You always got a feeling. Stop rambling. Hmm. Yeah, they're waiting in line. Hello. I want money. I'm trying to get the money. Anything over here? Nothing over here? Okay, well, let's just... Let's head to the raffle. How much money do I have, by chance? 197. Um... I'm not going to pay to get salt. I can find some stuff around that has salt. You know what? You know what, actually? There we go. Grand Orgesi, or guess. I don't know how to pronounce that. There we are. And now, the 1912 raffle has officially begun! Hey, mister! Mister! What? Oh. Okay. Sorry. Oh, woman. No sale. <laughs> Silly. Oh, There's never neck. a charge for the raffle. Oh, my neck. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. Oh, that's really bad. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring that's bad. Me the bowl. Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right then. The winner is number seventy-seven. Well, what do you know? Of course. Number seventy-seven, come and claim your prize. What prize? Oh, that's. Please don't do this. It was me. It was all me. Please, please. No. Please, what are you doing? Come on. Are you gonna throw it, or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> that's really racist. This this whole oh, thing right here is looks like we've got a messed up. I'm, <laughs> I'm not throwing. About that. I'm not throwing. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. Why don't you give her a throw? I'm not throwing it. Yeah, I'm not throwing it. Wait! It's him! Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't I don't you know. know. That makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false 
shepherd. And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys. Oh. What does AD stand for anyway? Stop him. Stop oh. Him. Okay. Thanks for the salt. Okay. You can hold Y to finish. Ah. Oh, here we go. Oh. There we go. We're going to hold it again. Oh. Well, damn. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna be ending this soon once I get to a save point. Like a save point. There we go. Where? Who said attack? Alright. Nothing. Anything else by chance before we end this video? So I need to get to like a safe point. Cover the gate. Damn. Oh, my health. Oh, please move out of the way. Thank you. Health is full. Good to know. Salts are full. I could use possession. It's like, yeah, I can. Now I've got a gun. Just nice. Yep. Probably not. Actually, you, uh, I don't know when Coleman's supposed to get home, so. Right. Yep. Welcome. Sorry about that. What is this audio log? Solution to your problem, September the 16th, 1893. Jeremiah Fink. I told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your Conscience, I suppose. I'm just using up bullets so that I can get that ammo. Okay. Ugh. So, of course, Fink's a racist. Not that surprising, to be quite honest. Possession aid adds ability to possess humans uh, who is suicide when the effect expires. Ooh. Okay, that's going to be really helpful to us. Possession now turns machine and man into allies. That's really helpful. Hold and release to create a ghostly trap. Press LT to turn machines or people into allies. Hold and release LT to create a possession trap. That's going to that comes Son of a bitch is real in the handy. Clock. Oh, down. Jesus. Don't let him escape. Go down. A real pistol. Oh, dear Lord. Please stop running at me. You still have pistol ammo on you. How much do you have? Anywhere. Well, let's get that pistol ammo off of you so that... What's the crouch button? 
Okay, I don't think there is a crouch button. More pistol ammo? Really? Let's possess the machine right there. Take the ammo. Let off fireworks. Have enough salt. Tough guy, eh? ha! He's hiding. Come on. Oh. Ah. Down. You got no chance. Oh. Ah. Come on. Stop. Oh, oh God. There we go. Woo! Where? Where is where are they? Where are they? Carbine ammo, thank you. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. There we go. Vigorous opposition. Right. I think... Ow. Damn it. Low on salt. Thank you for telling me that. Ow! Oh, you are a... Go down. Oh, boy. Thank you. I know I'm low on salt and whatnot. Okay. I think we're good. I think we are good. Okay. No other enemies. Nothing else. We looked through that barrel. We did not. But there's nothing in it. Ooh, we got a store. Okay, anything in here? Yep. Health. Money. Thank you. And that's all. Oh, coin purse. Okay. Well, we got everything that we could, I think. And I think. Let's go this way. Ooh, towards the spooky sounds. But... I, I think we're going to end the episode right here. I feel like this is a good stopping point. So, I hope you all enjoyed part one of Bioshock Infinite. I love this game. I absolutely adore it. And the Bioshock series in general. So, if you like this, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below. And once you've done that, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Excuse me. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is staying safe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.